China has been lashing out at South Korea and one of the nation's biggest conglomerates since Seoul announced its decision to bring in the THAAD anti-missile system. Lotte Group is being targeted because it swapped the land necessary for the installation. But international experts are saying Beijing's economic retaliation could also be intended for a wider audience. Kim Jong-su has more. The Wall Street Journal reports that Beijing's crackdown on Lotte Group should be seen as a cautionary tale for other business groups operating in the world's second biggest economy. The Chinese government's actions have so far resulted in the Korean conglomerate closing over 60 of its stores in China. The paper quoted University of Sydney professor James Riley, who said, quote, China hopes Korean conglomerates who exert considerable influence in the nation will deliver their thoughts regarding the THAAD missile defense system to the South Korean government after watching Lotte's struggles. Other experts say China's decision to target a specific company in Lotte Group shows how the country is now capable of implementing a more diverse set of economic strategies. They say that in the past, China only implemented bans on a product basis. For instance, up until last year, China had banned banana imports from the Philippines after relations between the two countries deteriorated over issues related to the South China Sea. Meanwhile, beginning Wednesday, Chinese travelers hoping to visit South Korea will have to apply for a visa directly from the Korean embassy in Beijing, or Korean consulates dotted throughout the country. This is because Chinese travel agencies have stopped offering travel packages related to South Korea. Chinese travelers on group tours to Korea almost always depend on the travel agencies to take care of their visa applications. As the Korean consulates can be quite far from where Chinese customers reside, some watchers say the number of overall visa applications will tumble nearly 20% compared to last year. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.